Headmaster Sid was saying the same thing. Hey! Sid, the idiot said the spread C to kill the sorceress! And if you fail, this garden will be done for! My garden! It will all be over! That idiot said! Has he forgotten that it was I who put up the money to a savage court? Wow, I'm spitting everywhere! <laughs> I wanted to offer the sorceress the Sid's head, along with the seeds! I wanted the students to find Sid, but they started with him! <laughs> this is my garden! <laughs> no! It's not just yours! <laughs> then whose is it? Or what is it? Is it Sid's and Edia's? That pathetic married couple? <laughs> That's the sound of the plot coming down like a ten-ton anvil. The Headmaster and Edia are married? I don't get it. <laughs> that was disturbed! Sid and Edia are trying to take Garden away from me! You're one of Sid's followers, aren't you? Prepare to die! Squall! <laughs> oh wow, I had way too much fun with that. Why couldn't I be that charismatic with all the parts of this thing? I don't know, whatever. Blue, yellow, red. Lots of magic when red. As long as color stays, I will attack seeds with magic. Okay. Uh, let's see. Draw. That thing just says cure, thunder, and life. Dispel. Okay, uh, attack that thing. I don't know. Uh, oh crap, I should have cast Meltdown on it. Okay, I'll just do that next. There we go. Jeez, dude, this guy must weigh like 8,000 pounds. One pound for every hit point. Okay, so ground has no effect on him. Weak against... Oh, okay, he's weak against wind. That's good. I can use that. Alright, let's just stab him again. Did that do it? Did that kill him? I'm dying for I'm a warrior of you! Me, why me? Blah. Yay, Ifrit learned ammo, and Diablos learned counter none. Yay, okay, I'm gonna have to go back and, uh, fix that stuff all up, but... Alright. Alright, I beat that fat guy, uh... Now I guess we can leave. So, like, what's going on, guys? Forget about it for now. I can't believe you said that! I think what just happened is really serious! What's the point of talking about it now? You don't know what's going on, either! Ugh, this is crazy. I don't know what's going on anymore. I feel like a helpless puppet being manipulated in some major scheme. Squall. Yeah, I'm gonna go see the headmaster. Alright, let's let's go then. Now there is a draw point up there for bio, but I'm not even gonna mess with it. I mean, towards the end of the game, you can get all this really good magic that it hardly matters. Alright, into the elevator we go. I don't think we get to come down here anymore. I mean, maybe we do, but I doubt it, but I don't miss this place. Well, let's go to the doctor's office because, uh... She said something about needing to see him. Do you need to see the headmaster? Yes, now. Well, the headmaster is kind of... It's okay, doctor. Are you sure? Yes, I believe I'm done crying. Just take it easy, okay? He's got a lot on his mind. So he was crying in the office here, huh? Man, the pressure is really getting to him. You all see me in such an embarrassing state. What shall we talk about? Uh, you know, I'm just gonna go down the list here. I want to make a report. No, no, it's not necessary. I can guess what must have happened. Uh, you mean like what just happened? Me killing Norg? The real meaning of Seed. Please tell me the real meaning of Seed. Seed is Seed, the elite mercenary force of Balam Garden. That doesn't help. Hmm, so you, do you know something about Seed? I never know anything. Seed will defeat the sorceress. The Garden will train Seed members. 
There are many missions around the world and only training for the final battle against the source. That is right there. I know that's like some little almost non-existent thing, but that right there is the reason Seed was put together. But now the sorceress has become a major threat. Our true mission has begun. I mean, this is a really big plot thing right here. Sorceress Edia. Please tell me about Sorceress Edia. I heard she's your wife. You're quite right. She's been a sorceress since childhood. I married her knowing that. We were happy. We worked together, the two of us. We were very happy. One day, Edia began talking about building the garden and training seeds. I became obsessed with the plan, but I was very concerned with Seed's goal that one day Seed might fight Edia. She laughed and told me that would never happen. However... What shall we talk about? Yeah, here we are fighting Edia, the sorceress. Tell me about Master Norg. He is from the Shumi tribe, a black sheep of the tribe, one might say. We met while I was running around trying to find some funds to build the garden. He became interested in building the garden and we hit it off. Thanks to his funding, it was complete. Where did he get the money from? However, we needed an enormous amount of funds to run the garden, so we began dispatching seeds around the world as a means of supporting the garden. Norg's idea was right on the money. An enormous amount of capital began flowing into the garden, and the garden began to change. Lost sight of our high ideals, the truth was covered up. That's probably enough. In the end, it was my fault for giving up control. So... We used to not be mercenaries and stuff, and now we are. What do we do now? We must stop drifting around soon. I only hope that we can get things back to the way they were. Okay, well... I better stop interrogating him. Hey, do you have something to give me? What is it? Are you injured again? No. I got so many freaking hit points right now, I almost wish I was, but... Alright, um... Now what? Come on, trigger an event or something. Oh good, uh, it usually doesn't fade out like this, so... Squall! Squall! Have you seen the headmaster around? He's at the infirmary. Sounds like trouble, what's wrong? Go to the second floor deck and see for yourself, there's a ship approaching. It could be a Galbadians or worse, the sorceress might be aboard come to attack us. I have to tell the headmaster right away. Man, we cannot catch a break for one second. Well, at least we got to show Renault around. Yeah, I mean, that's how this whole thing starts. Showing Renault around the garden, and then we had to fight for our lives against Norg, and then we had to talk to the Headmaster Sid and gain a whole bunch of plot shoved down our throats, and now, uh, second floor. Yeah, because that's the place where we got to see outside before. Hey, what up, nerds? I'm still a little shaken by what's happening. You know, with the garden flying and all, you look mighty calm. I don't know. Oh, well, take care. Otherwise, he'd take confident as usual. Hey, someone gave me these cards. They're kind of cool. Maybe I'll start collecting too. Want to play me sometime? Uh, I've got enough cards. I don't want to play any more people at cards. I mean, I'm going to be playing a couple more people at cards before all this is said and done, but... Hey, is it really Galbadia? I don't know. Is Galbadia attacking? All right, fine. I'll check. Jeez. Run forward. A ship? A Galbadian ship? You don't know that. Is Headmaster Sid there? No, he's not there. Are you from Galbadia? We're Seeds! This is Edia's ship! We are Sorceress Edia's Seeds! Seeds? We're coming aboard! We're armed! Why on earth would we let you guys on the ship? When your sorceress idiot, you know, the person who just tried to fire freaking missiles at us? Wow. Those guys jump like Mario on steroids. Please, we come in peace. Did you see that? I mean, they jumped like, what was that, like 30 feet? We must speak to Headmaster Sid. Where is he? I'm right here. Yeah, we lied to you guys, but we don't feel bad for it. Headmaster, we've come for a loan. It's too dangerous for her here, here now. Yes, I'm afraid so. Alone? That girl from Windhill? Squall, you know who she is? Please go find her. She's here somewhere in the garden. Who are these guys? How are they connected? Squall? Yes, sir. Uh... Please bring her here. Okay, whatever. I'll help you, too. Do I get to talk to any of you guys? No, you're just gonna stand there? Okay, laters.
Alone? Say, wasn't she... Yeah, she was that girl who was with Laguna. Probably. Any idea where she is? I guess we better split up and find her. Now, of course, it'll be me who finds her. Hey, Squall, who's alone? She's a person in the dream world. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, hi. Oh, so that wasn't a Galbadian ship. Who are you looking for? Alone? I don't know her. Okay. Ah, let me through. First floor. Yes, yeah, since we walked around, I already know exactly where Alone is. Yes, Squall? Are you alone? Yes? You're alone? The alone? What's going on? You know, Laguna, don't you? I do. I really love Uncle Laguna. Then tell me, what is it that we experience? I'm sorry, Squall, it's hard to explain. Okay, awkward silence. But one thing, it's about the past. So, we were viewing the past? Okay, well that's, that's helpful, I guess. You seem to know what's going on. People say you can't change the past, but even still, if there's a possibility, it's worth a try, right? Change the past? Is she serious? Give me a break. Are you the one responsible? Are you the one that's taking us to that dream world? I'm sorry. Not again. So much I don't understand. Why me? I have enough problems as it is. Don't get me involved in this. I'm sorry. Don't. Don't count on me. Man, he is overwhelmed right now. Squall, did you find alone? Um, I'm alone. Are you alright? Look at me, I'm clearly not alright. What Alone said to me under her breath was... You're my only hope. <laughs> and before that, she said, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi. Why do people depend on each other? In the end, you're on your own. He must have had one traumatic childhood. I've made it this far by myself. Alright, so Alone gets picked up by those guys. Sure, I couldn't do a thing when I was a kid. So we just handed her over, just, just like that? Okay. Hope we don't need her back anytime soon. I depended on others, but... That ship sounded like it was using, like, engines and stuff, so why do they have sails? I'll be the first one to admit that I'm here because of other people. I'll be fine by myself now. I'm fine by myself now. I have all the skills I need to survive. I'm not a child anymore. That's a lie. I don't know anything. I'm confused. I don't want to depend on anyone. How can I do that? Someone tell me. Someone? So I'll end up depending on others after all. This is why everybody needs a hobby. Sis! I'm all alone, but I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. I'm wearing my lucky Charlie Brown shirt. 